Hello, this is uh, Scotty, Black Talk Radio News, uh, which airs on the Black Talk Radio Network. I did a program earlier today uh, during my regular broadcast time, and one of the stories that I was taking a look at and reporting to our audience is about the United States finally withholding our tax dollars, yes, our tax dollars, those who pay taxes, um, going to the Philippines while they've been murdering people uh, allegedly accused of, of uh, using drugs or selling drugs. Again, no trial. These people weren't arrested. They weren't given a trial and proven uh, guilty. You know, the whole concept of innocent until proven guilty, I guess that doesn't apply there in the Philippines or whatnot. And then even people who are drug addicts, who have a substance abuse problem turn themselves in out of fear that they're going to be rounded up and slaughtered along with the other 6,000 people just shot dead in the streets by the police, by vigilante groups uh, supported by Duarte and what have you. So they turn themselves in and they still end up getting killed and murdered. So anyway, as I was reporting on this, we had a caller call in from the California area um, purported to be a black male who said, and I quote, I don't care what Duarte is doing as long as he is not harming black people. And I took great offense to that. I took great offense. I mean, I went off, I was cussing, might have been, you know, emotional because it made me angry. Anger is an emotion. And just for somebody to sit up there and endorse mass murder of people because they of a different so-called racial classification, because they are not black people, you don't care about your tax dollars, um, you don't care about the United States government Funding a government that is extrajudicially murdering people out in the streets. Yes, I'm going to go off on you because you are a disgusting individual. You are no different than these racist terrorist crackers who throughout history have been committing genocide against people because what? Because they don't look like them. So how are you any different than these racist crackers? In fact, you probably have been around racist crackers so long that you start picking up on their behaviors and their way of thinking, and that's how you think. Again, I have never been one to say that I believe in unifying a black unity, 100% black unity, because I'm not going to unify with people like that. I don't unify with, with people who support the wholesale murder of other people simply because they may or may not use drugs or sell drugs. That just tells me this person really doesn't understand global uh, racism and the system and how it works. So for those who caught that broadcast, who heard me cursing this guy out, I apologize to you. But I do not apologize to him because I normally try to keep my program clean, not use um, uh, curse words and things of that nature. So they kind of caught me off guard. And so I'm apologizing to our listening audience that heard me go off. But I'm not apologizing for the reason that I went off on this guy. Because if you're going to act like a racist freaking cracker, then I'm going to treat you like a racist freaking cracker. Again, like Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., I don't always agree with everything that he says, but I think he's on to something uh, in terms of identifying what racism is and, and how it works. And I agree with him. Skin color don't matter. If we're talking about justice for all, it can't be justice for just some. And talking about you being black and proud of being black, like Mr. Fuller said, if you don't believe in practicing justice, you don't even have any business breathing. So to that person that called into my program 
talking about how he doesn't care and, and talking about how uh, Duarte should do what he's doing and all that type of stuff. You know what? Like Mr. Fuller said, you don't have any business breathing. 